Hi, Christina. Welcome to Revolver's Songs for Black Days podcast. We have here Jordan and Matt from Women Horizon. Hello there. Hi. So, gentlemen, your music is medicine. What's, what would be the first song that you would turn to at a time for solace? <laughs> well, we were just thinking about opening with Chumbawamba. <laughs> <laughs> it feels, feels slightly uh, insulting, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to stick with it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chumbawamba. Tub thumping. Tub thumping. <laughs> Just a banging football anthem. They're from around our area, well, my area too. I think they're from like Sheffield, maybe. Yeah. I'm probably they're probably from somewhere near us, but uh, yeah, big tune. Big tune, lyrical content. Yeah. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Yeah, it's powerful stuff. You never. Powerful stuff, guys. <laughs> Keep sarcastic. Yeah. We're gonna try and mix up the playlist with some we'll low just, grade. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Some low grade content. So your next song. What Wait, song bro. fucking pumps you up, mate? Yeah, when you're We'd sad, have to go for maybe, maybe go for a Prodigy. Yeah, I think Prodigy is always good. I like that. I mean, that whole record. Yeah. I, can, I can go front to back that record yeah. without skipping. Fat of the Land. Fat of the Land, for sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a big record growing up. I think it was like the first real kind of music that I really liked. I mean, before that, I think I liked fucking Smurfs Go Pop and shit. And then I think... I had that Smurfs Go Pop album. I had it, definitely what? had it, yeah. But I think, yeah, I think Prodigy, I think it was just like, Keith was just like this like cartoon character, um, larger than life guy, and the music was just like fucking acid punk, fucking, and songs about starting fires and stuff like that. Which is the one, it's on the other record, I'm transcending to outer space. Yeah, it's a... Uh, another race. That's a good one. That's from, <laughs> that's from music from the Johnson yeah. generation. generation. Why don't we yeah. go for that? Yeah, we can do what we, we can, can do. No good, start the dance. That's always a good one. How's that going? Yeah, no good for me. I don't need nobody. No. Yeah, let's go for that yeah, one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, no good, start the dance. Just a fucking absolute ripper. One of probably one of the best vocal samples yeah. ever. Okay, what was the soundtrack to your first heartbreak? Smurfs go pop. <laughs> <laughs> You want a sad one? Yeah, I want to. I want like. Can, can we get it? Can we get deep here, guys? I could go for um, take that back for good. <laughs> you guys are. Oh, God. What? You guys are making a mockery of this. I like it. I know of you. I, I can just imagine you crying in your bedroom. You have you have Won't cried to it, haven't you? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, a great yeah, song. Yeah. Won't you I mean, beg for good? It's beautiful. Isn't that what you was what you yeah, asked yeah, for? Yeah, yeah. No, that was he actually is legitimately. Nice. Nice. Go on, yeah, go on. Can, can we have a moment? Need to give up. <laughs> I think it's time. There you go. <laughs> it is a fucking good song. In the corner of my mind. Corner of my mind. A celebrated story. Glory, that's it. But it just wasn't to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just want to say he's definitely yeah, crying to that song. Yeah, 100. Yeah. yeah. I feel yeah. like we need to mix it up genre-wise a bit. Yeah. We've had a kind of pop ballad. What was the first one? Oh, Chumbawamba. Chumbawamba. Yeah. Yeah. Prodigy and Chumbawamba yeah. are kind of in the same wheelhouse. aggressive lad wheelhouse a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So maybe we should go for something uh, like a kind of Ballad. uplifting song. Like, how about um? Bill Withers, Lovely Day. Lovely Day, yeah. Yeah, that's a good song. Mm. I'd play that at my wedding. Then I look at you, and the world's all right. When you, know, when you get married and you walk out, it yeah. was a, yeah, Bill That Withers. was your song, yeah. Lovely Day. Lovely Day yeah. Do you remember the first <clears throat> time you heard it? Um, no, I'm no, probably I'm very young. <laughs> I remember it was my favourite song when I was younger, one, uh, for a period of time. Because it's quite easy to sing, isn't it? It just goes, Lovely Day, Lovely Day. Lovely day. You can, you can, Lovely it's a winner. Yeah. It's a winner. For a kid, it's quite yeah. easy to sing. So totally, yeah, I love that song. And there's one bit where he holds a note for about 10 minutes as well. A lovely day. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying the amount of singing that's going down in this. Wow. Yeah. I'm really. Turns music out, turns out we do listen to music. Yeah. You do listen to music. It's all like, it's just. It's just the way we're just trying just to, trying to look cool. Yeah, yeah, it's just good. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. It's an, okay, next one. Um, but like a rock song, is there any rock song? Rock song? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do any I wonder whether we should go a bit American Pie with it. American Pie? You know, that kind of that's a bit summery, good time. You know, that kind of. Why oh, that third eye blind song? Maybe a lit. The car is in the front yard. The car is in the front yard. Yeah, that one. Andy. 
You feel like Bring Me the Rising songs that people kind of come up to you guys and tell you they've got them through hard times? Is there any yeah. notable um, all or a lot of them? Yeah, we, we are a little bit that bound, aren't we? Yeah. The songs are quite yeah. emo emotional, so yeah, there's quite a few. Mm. Um, Drown is one of our older Drown's ones. Drown's a big one. A lot yeah. of people seem to say that they have has helped them. Mm. Um, there's too many to think of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just depends. Like Throne is another one that people yeah, it's quite people said, empowering yeah, it's sounding. A, yeah, it's a bit more um, yeah, a bit more anthemic, but yeah. I think people still relate to that one. Um, yeah, but there's a bunch in the set. Strangers is kind of emotional song about connecting with people and stuff. Mm. So yeah, I think that's one thing a lot, a lot of a lot of our fans we see with a lot of our fans is it's when they talk to us, it's not normally like oh, I love that song. It's sick. It's like. You know, this song did this, this, this for song me. This song did this for me. This song helped me through this, and it, a lot of them, it's a, it's more important and deep for them. So I, th I think that's kind of why we've got to where we've got to. Yeah. It's because people really connect with Ollie's lyrics and the mu and the music on a bit like deeper mm. level for whatever reason. Yeah. How do you kind of create emotion with your music, like, you know, because it's different, obviously, than words. I mean, it, it yeah. is it is a lot to do with the words. Yeah. Um, and then I think it's just. I mean, it's really hard to say, but it's the connection of the words and the music and how they work yeah. together to convey a feeling. And I think peop if people feel like they can relate to the story and the way it makes them feel, then then they just latch onto it. So if, you know, if someone hears something and they feel like they're getting talked to, um, it's real. Yeah, that's, then it's real for them. So it's yeah, powerful. it's it's really hard yeah. to know what, how to do that. I just mm. Just, you just fuck around until you get it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably why. Our music as well, I mean, we like a lot of feeling in our music. I think if you if you don't feel it here, then it's probably not going to be great, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's true. Mm -hmm. So there's always that, and then to combine that with all these lyrics, and then... Yeah, yeah. fusion. Absolutely. It's like, I, I just find it amusing that people are turning to you for their solace, and you're also listening to Take That and The Withers. Well, and we sound. listen to it's words. The joyous, it's, the joyous, it's the joyous connection. I think it's a beautiful That's the thing, line. It's a thing with our yeah. band. We like loads of shit. It's yeah. awesome. Loads of shit, like pop music, yeah. dance music, raga. Yeah. Like, I mean, I can I safely say that all the six songs we picked are songs that we have listened to, we have and do listen to. I like that. Non-ironically. No, yeah. that's because, awesome. Because we, we grew up in that. You know, era. So, totally. you know, you stick like take that on. It's like it takes us back to when we were crying in our bedroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> legitimately. 